Has anybody ever told you Kimura is a strong man move? Well, I'm here to tell you it's not. Okay, here's how a weaker man with weaker arms can get a Kimura on a stronger man with stronger arms. Okay, so I'm here getting my Kimura and I'm facing you guys. What I'm gonna do first is look to face the sky. Okay, so I'm gonna put my far foot on the mat and I'm gonna do a big hip escape. Like so, so now I'm facing the sky. Next thing you do is achieve a perpendicular angle to his spine. So I'm gonna start swimming my right leg high and then my left, then my right, then my left. And I keep swimming my legs over, I'm climbing up his back until I achieve almost a perpendicular angle. Cross my ankles, dig both my heels into his back. Okay, and then I'm going to bridge my hips. This is gonna break his grip. Once it breaks, I'm gonna feed his hand to his shoulder blade and his elbow to his hips. Okay, so the hip hinge is the most important part. Okay, I'm targeting, I'm using my bigger, stronger muscles of my hip hinge against his weaker S grip. S grips are pretty strong, but my hip hinge is stronger. Okay, so it's just a simple bridging motion. So if there's no hands here, let's say it's not here, all I'm doing with my hips is this. Okay, it's very hard for him to stop that motion. Once his hands are connected, and okay, even if I just go one hand here, I'm using my hips here, it's going to break his grip. All right, so that's how a weaker man can still hit a Kimura from closed guard. Thank you very much.